Hi, it's Dave Robison with CiscoFarmSeed.com. We're at the University of Kentucky on May 25th, 2011. We're looking at a uh, brome trial uh, today. This has been harvested uh, one time before, about uh, uh, 18 days ago, and we're looking at the regrowth on this brome. This is a trial that's in its third year of being harvested. Uh, the data can be found on this trial uh, and the uh, University of Kentucky website. What I want to look at today is the differences of the types of brome. Uh, out here on the border, this is called Macbeth Meadow Brome, and uh, it's been the top variety uh, in this trial uh, throughout the uh, three years. And then we get to a product called uh, Hakari Alaska Brome, and uh, obviously not quite as um, persistent and uh, it's got some real wide leaves and some growth but it's not a uh, very uh, persistent variety and then we get into uh, smooth brome uh, this is an experimental variety and you can see again quite a huge difference in the growth uh, between the uh, uh, metal brome and the smooth brome then we get to an interesting the hybrid brome this is a cross between a meadow brome and a um, and a smooth brome and then we go back to a smooth brome again and then we get to a mountain brome and uh, this is a variety that's uh, marketed some here in the midwest and uh, so again not very persistent uh, not a lot of growth and uh, then we get into uh, another hybrid brome then we get into a smooth brome that has a lot of contamination on it then we uh, get to another smooth brome here then we get into what's called a prairie brome. Uh, this is one that uh, actually this is a lot of uh, ryegrass and fescue and other products. Uh, generally speaking, the prairie bromes have not persisted well unless they've been allowed to go to seed head. And uh, as you can see, a few seed heads here on the brome. Uh, then we get back into uh, uh, smooth brome again. Then we get back into the Macbeth Meadow brome. So you can see across this trial a lot of different uh, variation of the different brome families. Uh, the products that seem to be working the very best are the meadow bromes. Uh, if you look at, again at the yield data, you'll be able to see uh, where those have uh, really been outstanding compared to the smooth brome and the others, um, out yielding the others and being much more persistent. Even with two pretty severe drought years and this year being an exceptionally wet year here at the University of Kentucky. Again, Dave Robison with uh, CiscoFarmSeed.com uh, looking at uh, bromes, different types of bromes at the University of Kentucky.